Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics and today we will see the concept of loop, mesh, node and a branch in the electrical circuit. So these are the basic circuit terminologies which are quite often used in the electrical circuit. So let us start with the branch in the electrical circuit. So branch in the electrical circuit represents a single circuit element. Now this single circuit element could be a passive components like resistor, capacitor or inductor or it could be two elements like a voltage source or a current source. So now let us find the branches in the given circuit. So if you see this circuit, this circuit contains a five circuit elements. This circuit contains a three resistors and a two voltage sources. So we can say that this circuit contains a five branches as each branch represents a single circuit element. So we can say that this circuit contains a five number of branches. Now let us see the concept of node in the electrical circuit. So a point in the network where two or more elements are connected can be called as a node. So if you see this circuit, this circuit contains a four nodes. This is the first node which connects a one 5 volt supply and a 2 ohm resistor. This is the second node which connects a three resistors. This is the third node which connects a this 3 volt supply and a 5 ohm resistor. And at the bottom this is the fourth node which connects the two voltage sources and a one 10 ohm resistor. So you can say that this circuit contains a four nodes. Now let us see the concept of loop and a mesh. So any closed path in the electrical circuit can be called as a loop. So if you see this circuit, this circuit contains a three loops. The first loop is a this one. That means if you start from the node one, and if you move to the node two, then move to the node four, and again if you come back to the node one, then that is the first loop. The second loop is a this loop. That means if you start from the node 2 then move to the node 3 then if you move to the node 4 and if you move to the again to the node 2 then that is a second loop. The third loop is the outermost loop. That means if you start from the node 1 then move to the node 2 then move to the node 3 then if you move to the node 4 and if you again come back to the node 1 and that is the third loop. So basically this circuit contains a three loops. So now let us see the concept of mesh. So a closed path in the electrical circuit which does not enclose any other closed path inside it can be called as a mesh. So earlier we had seen that this circuit contains a three loops. But if you see the loop number one and two, it does not enclose any other loop inside them. So we can say that the loop number 1 and 2 are the example of the meshes. So if you see the loop number 3, this loop number 3 encloses the loop number 1 and loop number 2 inside it. So this loop number 3 cannot be called as a mesh. So this circuit contains a two number of meshes. So now let us just summarize the basic circuit terminologies that we had seen today. So first we had seen the branch. So branch in the electrical circuit represents the single circuit element and these elements could be a either resistor, capacitor or inductor or it could be a voltage or current source. Then we had seen the concept of node. So node is a point in a network which connects a two or more circuit elements. Then we had seen the concept of loop. So any closed path in the electrical circuit can be called as a loop. And then finally we had seen the concept of mesh. So mesh can be defined as a closed path in the electrical circuit which does not enclose any other closed path inside it. So I hope you understood the basic circuit terminologies that we had seen today. If you have any question or suggestion, please let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos.